Just swish and flick! My name is Vape Chilla, and today we'll be reviewing the Mage Mech V2 by Coilart. Now, as you can see, this beauty right here is quite a big boy. So you might have seen reviews of this thing three months ago, but how is it holding up three months later? Before we jump in, make sure to join the Discord down below, and also follow me on Twitch, where I livestream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, couple specs. This is called the Stacked Edition, because you could either run it in single battery or dual battery series. It is compatible with 18650, 2700, and 21700 batteries. Right now, I'm running it in series mode, with quite a hefty build on top. Enough of that, let's get down to the close-ups. And here we have the packaging of the Mage Mech V2. Quite nice packaging. Here's the front, Mage Mech V2 on the side. Here's all the colors it comes in, what the kit includes, and also an authentication code. And there's their social medias. Sleeve comes off just like so. And here it is. Let's open it up. And here we have the packaging. A user manual here. Here's what it looks like. Also some build advice. All right, so let's get straight to it. Here it is. Here's the main mod. Let's pull that out. Here's what she looks like. Pretty silver pin on the bottom, quite springy. Open it up. This is what the inside of the firing pin looks like. Seems to be using a double spring. Comes off just like so. And there's the inside. Nice vent holes, by the way. Put back just like so. Quite easy to put back together. Inside, you'll find an 18650 adapter. Also the series adapter. Boing. Here's what that pin looks like after three months. Some pretty serious arcing. I must also mention it is a hybrid tube on. Comes off just like so. And there you have it. Here's the extension kit. Inside you'll also find another 18650 adapter. Here's how to make it series. Screw this end in, and put the firing button. Don't forget to use the adapter between the two batteries. The last contents of the box are accessories. Inside we'll find spare springs and a spare series adapter. One last accessory, a clear button with a gold pin. Wow. Quite nice. So that's pretty much it for this mod. Let's bring it back up for pros and cons. Now we're back for the pros and cons. So let's start off with the pros. Number one, it's gotta be the looks. No one can deny this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. Even the slight knurling on the mod makes for great grip. Number two, the battery compatibility. The fact that you have an option between 18650s, 2700s, and 21700s is quite nice. If only I could get my hands on a pair of Samsung 30Ts. Number three, the button has quite a nice feel to it. Has just the right amount of tension. Number four, this paint is quite resilient. Over the months that I've used this, I've dropped this about five times, three of which were above waist level, straight onto a rough surface too. However, the worst I'm seeing on this mod is just a dent. The paint managed to stay on. As for the knurlings, which are common problem areas, they're looking quite nice. The only real sign of aging is on the engraved part, which is kind of unavoidable. And number five, you can go single or series. Either way, the mod performs great. Oh, and of course, number six, it doubles as a weapon. Now on to the cons. So here are a couple minor cons. Number one, no safety locking mechanism. I mean, honestly, most tube mods don't, but it would have been a nice feature, especially for a series mod. Number two, uh, in series mode, it's not really great to transport in your pocket. Is that a mod in your pocket or are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly the most compact. And number three, the most serious con, battery arcing. As you saw in the close-ups, this silver pin is not holding up well. Though just because it arcs doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Most tube mods arc. It's unavoidable. Because the button is not in constant contact, so every time you fire it, there will be a small arc. On this mod, however, it seems a little severe. So after three months, how does this mod hold up? Honestly, it is one of the most sturdiest I've reviewed. Dropping it several times, borderline abusing it, yet it looks pristine and it performs quite well. If you're looking for a long-lasting mod, a bit of a heavy-duty mod, and something to defend yourself with, the Mage Mech V2 might be what you're looking for. So that's pretty much it for the Mage Mech V2 Stacked Edition. So if you like this review, make sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you have any more questions or comments about this mod, make sure to comment down below and I will reply. I've also got a Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook where I'm posting extra content. So make sure to check those out in the description below. Till next time. But, how is it doing three months later? C could you fucking not fart in my videos? I'm sorry. You'll be lucky if I don't include this in. <laughs>